Today we're going to be having a look at the AMD Radeon HD6870 from MSI. So this is a brand new graphics card from AMD and it has a lot of things that are pretty cool about it. As you may or may not have noticed, I have a bit of an interesting setup behind me. So like AMD's Radeon 5000 series cards, we've got full support for iFinity, although this one supports four displays instead of three, like most of the 5000 series, and it also has quite a few other tricks up its sleeve. So stay tuned for more. This is going to be a very cool episode. So let's get the basic specifications out of the way first. The 6870 is basically like a like a, a value 5870 that has hopped up tessellation power, although it's not quite as powerful a card. It comes in at a much lower price point, so it stays quite reasonable. We've also added some features, and I want you to come down here with me and have a look at the 6870 itself. We've added support for HDMI 1.4, so that means we've got support for Blu-ray 3D, that means you can watch 3D movies with your TV's glasses with this particular video card. We're also going to have support for 3D gaming upcoming in a future driver. So by the time you watch this video, it may already exist on the 6870. And we also have, I mean the biggest thing, this is it, is it's all about the performance with this card. We have enough horsepower to drive three 1080p displays, no problem in current titles. And that means that at a $249.99 price point, you can actually afford to put this card in a secondary PC, and that's what we're doing. We've got a media PC, we've gone and installed this, maybe you have a 5970X2 in your main gaming PC, you're a, an extreme gamer. So that is what we're demonstrating, is that it's got ample gusto for whatever you need to do in the living room. So here we are in Dirt. I don't actually have a copy of Dirt 2, or I would have showed you that, but let me tell you, this card is not about the technical specs because really it's not that different besides the better tessellation performance and support for four display affinity than the previous 5000 series. What this is all about is the experience that it gives you and the price point that it comes at. So I mean I've run iFinity with monitors, I've run 3D Vision, I've run 3D Vision Surround, I've tried all of this stuff and there is nothing quite like this. I'm gonna play around with a couple different camera angles here just to give you uh, sort of a better feel for what this is all about. I mean, I wish you guys could try this. I wish it wasn't just a matter of showing you a video of it because it is cool. Very, very cool. I've got my wireless Xbox controller. I'm gonna show you a few different kinds of games. So we've got uh, racing game, obviously, first of all here, and I crashed, and stay tuned for more. All right, so I shouldn't have to tell you guys that first-person shooters with three monitors in Ifinity is cool and that much cooler when it's huge and I just got killed. Um, you know it seems like every time I do a gaming demo in Tech Tips I just get owned and then that, that's all there is to it. But uh, yeah I mean this is all about I just want to show you guys the experience that you have if you invest in something like this and Well, I think it should all be pretty self-explanatory at this point. Oh, well, there's a friendly. So I can't really show you what happens when you kill somebody in Ifinity, but it should be pretty similar to what happens when you don't. So first-person shooter, really, the advantage is not that you're going to be looking at the other monitors so much, but it's more about the fact that you have peripheral vision. So you go around a corner, and he's trying to knife me. Come on, finally, I got him. Uh, you go around a corner, you can see what's going on on your left and on your right. Uh, unfortunately for me there, I couldn't see what was going on above me, but there you go. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on triple 46-inch 1080p TVs. So Batman Arkham Asylum lends itself pretty well to this whole iFinity thing, as you can see. It is an NVIDIA title, but like I said, it works great on an ATI card, which is fairly obvious. I've just got my Xbox 360 controller here. This game is mostly just about showing you the experience that we're having with a third party, or a third person rather, game with three screens in surround. I gotta admit, it's hard to focus on talking right now when it's uh, so fun to just sit here and play. All right, so we got some torchlight going on here. This is just to give you an example of what a top-down view type game is gonna look like with this kind of a setup. It's just very cool 
to do dungeon crawling or RTS or, I mean really, there's no kind of game type that I can even say isn't just insanely cool with this. Um, and ultimately it comes down to one simple thing. This gaming experience is just unlike anything that you can get on a console, anything that you can get on a Mac, and what AMD's done with the Radeon 6870 is they have delivered a gaming experience that you cannot touch for $250. You can set up a TVs like this for a very reasonable price, you get a couch, you've got unlimited control options because it's a PC. You can use this cool lap board device, you can use any wireless keyboard and mouse you want, you can even wire it up, use extension cords, you can use an Xbox 360 controller, you can game the way you want, and we've shown you all the different kinds of games that you can enjoy on the Radeon 6870, whether it's first person shooter, driving, anything you want. It's a phenomenal gaming experience and just a big thanks to MSI for providing our 6870 so that we could give you this demonstration and big thanks to AMD for delivering this crazy value of a card, the 6870. So our Tech Tips question for the day is going to be, uh, you know, bearing in mind that the costs are quite different and uh, you know that obviously a setup like this requires quite a bit of space. Which would you prefer, this or like your Xbox 360 in your living room? And if you prefer a setup like this, what is the price tag that would entice you to buy it? So leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips. How Mac people play video games. See, they just clearly don't get it.